Hello there, welcome to Kaiser's Magic Maintenance, where bike maintenance happens as if by magic. If by magic we mean crying, redoing things, and generally not knowing what the hell we're doing. That's magic. <laughs> so this time I'm about to fit a bottom bracket on my bike again, second time in a week. And it's not because I wore it out in a week, although there's a challenge. No, it's actually because the first fitting was a failure. No, that's not true. I did successfully fit the bottom bracket. It just turned out to be the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this time, at least I know I've got the right bracket and I know how to fit it. So I may as well crack on with it. And if you're looking for how to fit a Praxis BSA English threaded bottom bracket, stay tuned to make sure you do not make the same mistake I made. And before I start on the new one, here's a summary of how the first fitting went. Okay, first of all, I need to remove the crank. Woo! Oh, that's crunchy. We like it crunchy, remember from last time? Woomph, there it is. Oh, that is looking very, very rusty. Or oh, muddy. Nobody knows. Well, I mean, that was easy. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, I love this wrench. I'm surprised it's not full of mud. Oh, it is. Right, we are greased up. Righty tighty. And now I'm doing completely. <laughs> Look at the state of me. Looking good. But what do I know? I'm so confused now. I don't know what to do. What the hell is a lift crank? What's the preload ring? And when they wrote these instructions, and thought, hmm, that maybe uh, we should do them a little bit more clearly in case Kaiser needs to do it. Grease spindle splines. Spindle spline. Splindle splines. Splindle spines. Spindle splines. Wait, tell me that again, Calvin. Okay, Calvin. Splines, spindle, splines. I'm just gonna grease the shit out of me. Grease, 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 grease. Oh my god! I didn't even need any help at all. That's not supposed to look like that. It's all loose. Why is it all loose? At Ledger Lakes now. I've given up. But before they even got a chance to look at it, I figured it out. You see, there are two versions of the BSA English threaded bottom bracket by Praxis. One has a 30 diameter bracket on both sides, the other has a 30 millimeter. Whoa! The other has 30 millimeter on the drive side and 25 millimeter on the non drive side. So you have to know that there are two so that you can look for the right one depending on your crank. Mine has a step here, which means I needed the bracket with 28 millimeters on one side. Um, so if you're looking to replace your BSA button bracket, English threaded, make sure you have the right version. Apparently they do a crank called the lift crank, which uh, I'm guessing has 30 millimeters on both sides. So yeah, you live and you learn, eh? And now you've learned what I've learned. You're welcome. Sorry about the hair, it's lockdown thing. I've got all my tools. I've got my torque wrench. I've got the bottom bracket. I've got the tools to fit the bottom bracket and to remove the bottom bracket, should I have needed to do that. I've got the dust covers and the wavy thing that we need. I've obviously got crank and I've got some grease ow <laughs> um yes so that is all I need is gross okay I have greased the threads 
the bottom bracket. I am now going to put in the bottom bracket. One is the 28 millimeter. We know <laughs> that this goes in the non-drive side. So put this on the other side. We need the 30 millimeter tool. Oh my God, I'm getting such an expert at this. <sighs> yeah, it's nearly like I know what I'm talking about. Let's not exaggerate though, eh? So it tightens to the left. If you can hear some noise in the background, that's my dog. The most beautiful dog in the whole world. That's the first side This is it. That's the first side fitted. Hi, baby bumble. My baby bumble is here. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, going to fit the drive side. Nope, we're going to fit the non-drive side. That goes the other way, righty tighty. Forty newton meters of torque. Guys, it really is nearly like I know what I'm talking about. Talking, hey, hey. I'm here all week. I'm not here all week, it's freezing in this garage. Time to put the crank through. I need one of these wavy things whoop, to go over there like so. And then we need the dust covers on. We need to grease the spindle. So we need, I believe a two millimeter was on that side. We need a one millimeter on this side. Two millimeter covers, all cranks, stepped cover. Two millimeter, 28 millimeter like so. And the other one on the other side. All right, let's grease up the spindle. Deja vu this is, I tell you. Like I've greased hundred spindles. Such a weird thing to say. I haven't greased a hundred spindles. I've greased one spindle in the thread there as well. Ultimate bike grease with Teflon for all your cooking needs. I think that's pretty well greased up. And then we're going to put it in from the other side. Okay, well, that's a lot tighter fit than it was last time, I can tell you. Okay, now I'm going to fit the 28 millimeter, two millimeter, uh, whatever, the dust cover for this side. Okay, line those up <laughs> because we, we could put them like that. So the pedals are both at the bottom, but would well, that be stupid, really? Okay. That is probably as tight as it's going to go, to be fair. There we go. Wow. No movement there. My friends, we have closure. Welcome to Bumble's Magic Maintenance, where you will see maybe a dog eating a bone. Yes, you will. Oh, my baby. Mwah. So beautiful. Yes, you are so...